Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Stephen Pavletic, bone marrow transplant physician and cell therapist at the intramural program of the National Cancer Institute uh, at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. And it's my pleasure to update on some aspects of uh, chronic graft versus host disease sessions that were presented at the recent 62nd annual American Society of Hematology virtual meeting uh, that, that was held uh, in December uh, of this year. Chronic graft versus host disease is one of the major and most difficult complications of uh, allogeneic hematopoietic uh, stem cell transplantation received lots of uh, good attention at uh, this year ASH. Actually, one of the best oral sessions covered a number of uh, very exciting and promising phase one, two studies that were addressing some of the very interesting and uh, forward thinking novel mechanisms to treat chronic graft versus host disease. As we know, one of the greatest challenges in chronic graft versus host disease is to find more effective and more patient-friendly treatments uh, for, uh, for patients who have most difficult uh, presentations. And we are still having a very difficult time in finding the best drugs for patients who are not responding to frontline therapies. And even our, our frontline therapists, uh, corticosteroids uh, have been used uh, for a very long time. And we are really looking forward to find better treatments and trying to get away of steroids. So this study of belumosidil, uh, formerly known as a KD025, uh, it's a novel uh, mechanism. It's an oral tablet, uh, very easy to take, and it's a novel, novel uh, mechanism of uh, intervening into immunological pathological processes of chronic graft versus host disease, attacking that process at the two uh, key, uh, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's addressing a novel mechanism in uh, the pathophysiology of chronic graft versus host disease, uh, attacking two key uh, pathways in the process of disease. One is the immune dysregulation, where this new uh, small molecule agent is uh, shifting the balance of the immune system against the Th17 cells and the pro T regulatory cells and at the same time which is a very unique property addresses some uh, downstream important pathways that are inside the cells that uh, promote uh, fibrotic effects which is, we know clinically, it's one of the most uh, difficult presentations of chronic graft versus host disease. The study that was presented at this ASH is a randomized phase two study that enrolled 132 patients with a moderate to severe chronic graft versus host disease who failed uh, two to three lines of uh, prior treatments for chronic graft versus host disease. One way to address your question, uh, if patients and which patients would benefit from uh, Benumosidil, uh, it's uh, really uh, provided by the marvelous success uh, of this study in terms of uh, rapid accru uh, accrual of patients. So this study was uh, completed in uh, 10 months in a, during 2019, which is uh, which uh, is uh, a very unusually fast uh, for trials uh, in chronic graft versus host disease, which is reflecting the fact that there is an unmet need. And uh, 28 centers around the United States were included in this trial. The main finding of the study are one uh, that what we're really interested in, it's in a, a very promising efficacy. The primary endpoint was the overall response uh, of chronic graft versus host disease. Uh, uh, at any time, uh, around 70 to 75% of patients at this 
longer follow-up analysis where patients were followed at least for 12 months uh, of belimosodil. So about 70 to 75% of patients had a very good response, which is important uh, to emphasize is that the drug was very well tolerated. Uh, there were no essential uh, 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 problems with the uh, cytopenias, which is the common problem with some other agents for chronic graft versus host disease. Infections were not more than one would expect in uh, this uh, uh, patient uh, population. And uh, the responses were durable in about one third of patients. So besides uh, efficacy and uh, uh, safety as well, there, there are other aspects uh, of uh, these uh, uh, treatments that uh, are promising, including improvements in the quality of life and uh, symptoms of patients, as well as ability to taper steroids. So which patients would uh, most likely benefit the most? Uh, I would say that uh, Benumosodil, it's still investigational agent, uh, but it looks very promising. And uh, the results of this study are quite uh, convincing, but it seems that uh, this uh, agent would uh, cover a prominent unmet need for patients that fail one or two frontline therapies of chronic graft versus host disease. And uh, we as uh, physicians uh, treating uh, these patients are really looking forward to make this agent more widely available and uh, as an option for our patients. One aspect that's important to mention about this study is that uh, about one third of patients had prior exposure to other uh, currently uh, highly high interesting agents uh, uh, like abrutinib, which is already FDA approved and uh, raxolitinib that looks very promising. And uh, patients on the they actually responded as well uh, if they, they were exposed to these drugs before as uh, uh, any other patients with other clinical characteristics. So this is very important uh, 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 element and a fact that supports the use of uh, venomosodil in the uh, second or beyond treatments uh, for chronic graft versus host disease. The safety profile is very attractive as well for some other reasons. Uh, uh, one is uh, that uh, it potentially could be explored in combination therapies in future research for uh, and clinical trials because the non-overlapping uh, toxicity uh, uh, profile, for example, cytopenias don't really occur with this uh, agent in a serious uh, 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 number of patients or degree. So it could be used potentially in future trials for combination therapies and as well, could be potentially explored for moving earlier into preventative uh, strategies uh, because it's safety profile. We really would like to be in the future with chronic graft versus host disease at the point uh, where we can intervene in the process before patients develop very difficult uh, clinical manifestations and for a drug to be promising uh, or candidate to be employed uh, in uh, the setting of prevention, it's very important to good tolerability. So as soon as we develop better biomarkers and prediction uh, systems to intervene earlier before chronic graft versus host disease in what we call preemptive approach, then uh, certainly this agent would be top candidate to, to be tested and compared with others in, each, uh, in this setting. So uh, very exciting progress uh, in the field uh, and uh, we're really looking forward uh, for huge developments over forthcoming years. It seems that lots of exciting uh, uh, news are gonna happen uh, very shortly uh, uh, in uh, chronic graft versus host disease field. And I really recommend everybody to stay tuned. Thank you very much uh, the GVHD hub uh, for the opportunity to share this impressions from the recent ash.